As a hat maker, um, I work on so many different kinds of hats and I'm really quite blessed because every day there's a new challenge. I do a lot of restoration work for museums and galleries and collectors and there is something sentimental knowing that this is not for a collector. It's for somebody who's got attachment and that makes it quite a serious job. Now I have the leather band out, we get to the bones of the matter. I'm just going to release a few of the tack stitches that are holding in the lining. Then I can start to take out the peak. I'm not actually going to take out the original, I'm just going to support it with the new. So that will immediately stiffen the hat back up again. This hat needs to have the authentic material going back into it. So uh, I'm pillaging my much prized resources. I've got some backroom, which is a coarse cotton with a very loose weft and warp. So I'll cut out two strips and then bind them together. So now we're ready to go to the sewing machine. I'm going to put some reinforcement with stitching in. It's just a trick I've learnt down the line. As you can see, that's already a solid circle right now. So I'm going to pin it into place and I'll steam it and I'll let it set. So that's all good now. This needs to go to one side and cool down so it keeps and remembers the form that it's been blocked on. The buckram support is back into the hat. So the crown is now being held in place as it should be. The sides can dumb down as the saddle and we still have a very important kink in the front of the hat. Ian can now turn to crafting a sturdy new peak from scratch to replace the badly disintegrating original. This is a piece of cloth that would be consistent with the period. So now I'm just going to mark around the stencil what we're going to need to cut out. So I need to turn them inside out so that the seam will be on the inside. And now I'm ready to put the peak together. Giving the replica peak the distinctive patina of its predecessor is essential for the sympathetic restoration. I'm mixing up some watercolours. I'm going to create a sort of grimy colour and I need to try and copy the discolouring of the years into the new cloth. I am getting to the point where I feel relatively happy with the colour. Here it goes. Ian has got one last unorthodox trick up his sleeve for a more uniform finish. So now that I've had the peak painted, I want to add some pretty natural dust and dirt into it to make it look more authentically aged. So it seems quite extreme, but it is just a matter of rubbing good old soil into the ground. It just evens out the paint and it makes it look a little bit more like it's been worn.